Hello, this is Mr. Hothorn signing on with pack openings. Um, this is something that I am planning on doing whenever I get a booster box. Now, to those that play Magic, know what a booster box is. I'm currently holding it off screen. Uh, it is what you see in the shops. And it's these. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I spent a hundred bucks and got a booster pack box. So we're gonna open up six of these. The other thirty are for a draft. Me and my friends are doing, which I may or may not record. We're gonna start off with this first one. Were they just put in here backwards? There is your promotional card. What is it? That's a five five oct. 8 8 octopus. So there is a game type that a buddy of mine has suggested that I play as a cooperative method. It is called Horde. You take your tokens and you use them as uh, monsters. And they are very, it, it's a very fun game type. Also, I have decided that standing off to the left of the camera will improve the quality by a lot because then you will actually have light. So next card is a full art swamp. Yes. I guess. I'm happy about that. Brood Butcher. Oh, that's not very good one. Enter the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Skyon creature. Focus, you fuck. There we go. And yes, my camera is quite good. It is a black green, which is nice. The rest of these are commons. Jotty offshoot, okay. Horrible, horribly awry. Forerunner of slaughter. I have like four of those now. Shadow glider. I have one of those, I think. Balakar invoker. He's a good character, or he's a good card, but he's pretty common. Sheer drop. Good card, but common. Fuck. Volakut Predator. Landfall, whenever you... Oh, he gets 2-2 two, two until end of turn whenever you play a land. Hmm. That is for three? Yeah, that's not bad. Bell Green Whiptail. Oh, God, the glare. I will get a proper can like light here soon, so... More Landfall. First strike this time. Defender, Fortified Ramparts, okay. Well, that's a 0-6 for a 2-drop. That's not bad. Mist Intruder, it's just a flying with ingest. Deals combat damage to a player. That player exiles the top card of his or her deck. We are looking for a very specific card that has that ability, but it's 20. If you can guess what it is, kudos. Swell of Growth. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. That is a nice card. I need to put that in the deck. Remember you gain life. Calestria Nightwatch gains flying until end of turn. I do plan on making an ally deck, and this guy is focus, you fuck! In ally. And then Clutch of Currents. Turn target creature to its owner's hand. Awaken. Also put three th three one one counters on target land you control. It becomes in elemental. Okay, so the big card for this one is a brood butcher. So we're gonna put that up on top. And I am sorry about the stuttering. That's my camera trying to figure out where the fuck it is. And we're just gonna throw all the junk off to the side. You should see the rest of my desk. I fiddled with uh, lights. And using my phone as a light, but it ended up being less than ideal. Alright. Alright, here we go again. Plant, 1-1, one, one. not that great. Full art land again. Are these all just going to be full art? I will be happy if they are. We're going to put him on the bottom. Encircling Fissure, 
prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn by a creature. Or you can cast for Awaken and get some land that is a creature though. Rot Shambler, basically whenever anything dies it gains 1-1. One, one. Stasis Snare, what the what? Exile target creature and opponent controls until Stasis Snare leaves the battle. I am building an enchantment deck, this needs to go in there. Touch of the Void, to avoid Touch of the Void deals 3 damage to target creature of creature. Dealt damage that way would die this turn. Exile instead. Wow, that's nice. Beneth? Yes. Benthic Infiltrator. Eldrazi Drone. Oh my god, yes. That is exactly where you should be focused. We got Courier Griffin. Flying when Courier Griffin enters the battlefield. Gain two life. I could build a life gain deck. Invoker again. Goblin War Paint. Focus, you fuck. Chant creature. Gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. For a two drop that gives plus two, plus two, and haste, that's really good. I know it requires a creature, but whatever. Felidar. Cab? I'm reading this off of my preview screen. Come on. Felidar Cub. Sacrifice Felidar Cub. Destroy target enchantment. Cool. Swell of Growth. Target creature gets plus two, plus two. If land, enter the battle. And you may put a land. We've already seen that one. Dutiful Return. Two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Really good card. Royal Mage's Trick. Come on. Focus, you fuck. Converge. Creatures your opponent controls gets minus X minus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of colors that mana spent to cast Royal Mage's Trick. Draw a card. Oh yeah! This is going in a rainbow deck. Because if you cast... Well, the thing is, with the... Oh, Eldrazi, you have a sixth color, and it's devoid. It's colorless. It's actually a set mana type now, and it's so stupid. Hopefully I will get a card that uses it in this Territorial Belloth. Just plus two, plus two. Already seen it. Now, last card. Uh, Undergrowth Champion. If damage would be dealt to Undergrowth Champion, well, it has a 1-1. One, one, basically remove the 1-1 one, one and prevent the damage. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on him. So basically, so long as this guy is out and you are playing lands, focus, you fuck. There we go. I mean, he's a 3-drop for a 2-2 two -two with that ability. Yeah. Alright. Wow, this is actually taking longer than I thought. And my shoulders are starting to hurt. Maybe I should figure out a better way of doing this. Because, like, this is not the best way to do this. I know it's not, but we're getting there. Oh, there's one more card. Come on. Don't be a bitch. Um, are all... Oh, my fucking God. Are all land cards from these packs the full art land? Ooh, Eldrazi Skylands. Yes. See, this guy has the old colorless mana. Add one to your mana pool. That's that's the old one. Sorcery. Devoid. See, that's what the Eldrazi are. They're devoid. They're, they don't have a color. So, technically, under Commander rule set, this card has no color. It could fit into a deck that has... A colored commander. Ooh. Okay, so that's cool. Tajori Stalwart. Incubator drone. Basically just summon a 1 1 drone. Calling drone. Ingest. It's a simple ingest. It's a 2 2 for 2 with ingest. Wait, what? 
Okay. Well, that's cool. Needle Drone deals one damage to each opponent whenever you cast colorless spell. Untap Needle Drone. Okay, so I can make an official Eldrazi deck that is really powerful. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And you, uh, interesting fact about this one, if you didn't know, because it doesn't have a tap, you can pay that multiple times. Focus, you fuck. Stop focusing on the scissors. Jesus. But it is a four and a one white. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This goes in rainbow deck. And then we have Undo Champion. Rally whenever Undo Champion or another ally enters the battlefield under your control. Creatures you gain control gain trample until end of turn. Ally decks. Oh yeah. Gideon's Reproach. I have like four of these. Vestige of Emrakul. Devoid Trample. It's just a 3 4 Trample. Angel of Renewal. Just one life for each creature you control. Brood Monitor. Basically, just put three 1 1s on the field. Molten Nursery. Whenever you cast a creature. Whenever you cast a colorless spell, Molten Nursery deals one damage to target creature or player. And now, I think we're on to the big one. Endless one. Oh yeah. So, this card is very dependent on how much mana you actually want to put into him. Because if you spend, like, 20 mana on him, he's a 20-20. And that's the big card for this one. And there's the Full Art Island. Which is just okay. Alright, so we're gonna try to speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna probably end up with a ton of duplicates. Alright. Once again. There's Corellian Guide. And Core Ally. Okay, cool. Just gonna put those to the back. And, ah, my shoulder's cramping. Fuck. Ow. Okay. Myers Malice, target opponent, discards two cards, awaken, basically just cast it for the awaken cast, and you get three one ones on a land. Converge, I forget what enters the battlefield with one one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Prevent all damage that would be dealt. Outnumber. Deals damage to target creature equal to the number of creatures you control. It is a one drop. Oh yeah. Mortuary Mire. Well, everyone knows what Mortuary Mire is. Tightening Coils. Minus six, minus zero, and they lose flying. Looming Spires. When a Looming Spire enters the battlefield, target creature gets one one and gains first strike until end of time. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's land. Come on, grave birthing. Target opponent exiles a card from his or her graveyard. You put a 1 1 colorless Eldrazi Sky on token. Oh, yeah, add one to your mana pool. Eyeless Watcher. And when Eyeless Watcher enters the battlefield, 1 1 Eldrazi Sky on token. I think. Oh, got a couple of uncommons here. Landfall, Akuma Watcher. You may pay two. Ah, fucking fuck. I think I just, like, need to... Hold on. This is going to get really jank real quick. Like, because, A, I want to sit down, and B, I think this would almost look better if it was just the cards. Yeah. One stack of cards at a time. We're doing that fucking live, bitches! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's gonna look a lot better. Ow. And don't mind me, I'm just crushing my fingers against my camera stand. Ow, that actually hurt a lot. Alright, so now they're gonna be all slidey. Akuma Stone Wake. Sure. It's still doing the fucking shitty thing. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can't. No, not that one. Cancel. 
figure. Uh, autofocus off. There we go. Fuckers. That'll, that'll work. Okay, so, Akuma Stomp. I kind of want to be holding these. Okay. Of course, now I need to adjust. Like, literally the entire setup again. I promise you this will only happen once. Then again... If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that's a lie, and this happens every single time I try to start something new. Come on. That'll, that'll do. Okay, so basically, pay two and one red, and you get a one, two, three, one red elemental out of it, with trample and haste on the battlefield, and you exile it at the beginning of your next end step. Okay, that's cool. Retreat to Emeria Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Put a 1-1. One, one. White Court Ally. Ally. Or give everything plus one, plus one. That's cool. Enchantment. Dampening Pulse. Creatures your opponent control. Get minus one, minus zero. Cool. Gruesome Slaughter. Until end of turn, colorless creatures you control gain. Tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creatures. Creature. And that's the legendary of that one. Wow, that's a shame. Mountain Core Ally. Cool. That card. I see its benefit. Like, I can see how this would be a powerful card. I don't see it being useful for me, though. All right, we got two more packs. And then we're going to call it good. And don't worry, I'm being very careful about not cutting the fuck out of this thing. Ugh, keep... Fucking... I need to get better at this. I'm not good at this. There's your plant token. 1-1. One, one. Blech. Plant tokens. Okay. Sorcery, look at the top four cards of your library. <clears throat> what the fuck? Why is it doing that? I swear, I'm not bad at what I do. There we go. Uh, four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. Now, if you're playing a deck that has a lot of shuffle, you don't have to worry about that. Merfolk ally. Yes, ally. That is awesome. We need more allies. Uh, target creature can't be I'm like tilting the cards like a motherfucker. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. Cool. Nirkana, assassin. I'm fairly certain we've gotten this one. Gains death touch whenever you gain life. Oron Reef. Enchanter gains plus five, plus five. Gains trample until end of turn for eight. That's just okay. Lava Step Raider gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. I mean, it's a one, two, for one. And then you can give it another plus two for three. Um, the one, two, for one is decent in its own right. So that's, yeah. An elemental creature... 2-2 two, two, until end of turn, whenever a land comes into play. Cool. Sheer drop, you've already seen. Human Shaman. Deals 3 damage if you pay 8. That's just okay. Shadow Glider, you've already seen. Grip of... Desolation, Devoid, Exile, Target Creature, and Target Land. Wow. How much? 6. That's pretty good. Whenever a creature attacks this turn, it gains lifelink until end of turn. Awaken can turn a land into a 4-4 four, four with haste. It's still a land. Eldrazi Procursor? Anyways, 
To avoid flash flying, when Ulamog's nullifier enters the battlefield, you may put two cards in your opponent's own from exile into their owner's graveyard. If you do, counter target spell. Hmm. That's nice. March from the Tomb. This is the legendary in this pack. Or this is the rare. Return any number of uh, ally cards with total converted mana cost 8 or less from your graveyard. Yes. Okay. That's not that bad. Sacrifice a creature. You gain one life. You draw a card. That's weird having that in the back, though. That's probably because I fucked up and I dropped the cards. Okay. We got one more pack and one more chance at the card we are actually looking for. I don't think it's going to be in here. It's going to be in the box. And also, I like this setup better because it's better lighting. And I have a little bit better control. And I'll probably end up messing around with the camera stand a little bit so that I can actually get a proper angle at this. Oh shit, I kind of cut the cards on that one, didn't I? Yep. Did I actually... Oh, I have, like, seven of these. That... That's not a big deal. That is... No. I mean, I could be a little angry about that if I didn't already have seven! <laughs> and I'm about to have more. Okay, come on. Get the fuck out of there. Stream the Pro Tour. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Swell of Growth, Tutu, and Land. Volcanic Upheaval, Destroy Target Land. That's always good. Angelic Gift, Enchant Creature, Angelic Gift, Financial Battlefield. Draw a card, Enchant Creature has Flying. Okay, cool. Eldrazi Devastator, yeah. It's an 8, 9 for 8 with Trample. Oh yeah, you can make this thing huge. This is a good card for me. Wave Wing Elemental, and no, when I say it's a good card, I don't mean in a tournament sense, I mean for fun, I can make this a fun card. Flying Landfall, land enters the battlefield under your control, Wave Wing Elemental gets plus two, plus two, so it goes from a six, four, three, four, oh, that's not even a good deal afterwards. Fertile Thicket enters the battlefield, yeah, that's, this you would think is a good card, but unless you have Shuffle and you it has screwed me over before. That's all I'm going to say. Geyser Field Stalker, I have him. Snapping Gnarled, I have him. Fire Mantle Mage, you've already seen him. Oh, Foil! It's probably an Eldrazi. Retreat to Valakut. Target creature gets plus two, minus, or plus zero until end of turn. Target creature can't block this turn. Cryptic Cruiser. Put a card an opponent owns from exile into the player's graveyard. Tap target creature. Akum Hellkite. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, Akum Hellkite deals one damage to target creature or player. If that land is a mountain, two. Well, I mean, he's played with mountains, so I'm. I don't see why that wouldn't be a problem. Merc Strider foiled. Devoid. When Merc Strider enters the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into their player's grave. If you do, target creature to its owner's hand. This is a shitty card. That sucks. This. This sucks. Is that really the good card of this pack? It's just a foiled, shitty card. I called it. I. I am just a little salty that I cut this card, because I mean, at some point I may want to sell it, but at the same time it's just like, I don't really plan on selling any cards. Well that was shitty. I mean, the, probably the best thing that we got was, um, this guy. And he's not even a legendary creature. I, I don't think I got a single legendary creature out of all these cards. Out of the... 
six packs that I just opened, I don't think I got a single legendary creature. That sucks. I was kind of hoping to get a legendary creature so that when me and my friends played, we would have another legendary creature for a commander. But no! It's not going to happen. Anyways, I have taken up 25 minutes of your precious time, and I'm sure you all regret taking that time to watch me ramble on and on and on and on and on and on about cards. I will be doing this with every single booster box I get. And if you would like to support this and enjoy seeing me unpack these and possibly cut $20 cards in half by accident, then by all means, think about subscribing to my Patreon or just sending me a direct donation. Every little bit helps and every little bit is appreciated. If you do donate, you will uh, get a shout out in the next video that I make. There was one person that I was supposed to give a shout out a while ago, however, I completely forgot about it. He donated, I believe, 30 bucks. Um, I'm trying to figure out what he wanted to be called. Because I'm not going to use his name that he put in his... Uh, fucking <sighs> I have my computer like right there so I'm just gonna do control F what should and that should get me to where I would need to be Come on. No, fuck off. Apparently it doesn't want to be nice. Anyways, he knows who he is. I will give him a proper shout out in my next. <laughs> I found the piece of the missing card. Um, I'll give him a proper shout out in the next video. But until then, hope you all enjoyed. As always, if you liked, please like, favorite, subscribe. Think about supporting me on Patreon. I got that all set up and working properly. Or direct donations through PayPal are always appreciated. It will allow me to possibly just open one of these packs and give away every single card in them. I mean, this was paid out of pocket. And with that in mind, just keep that in mind. If you're looking to maybe get a couple good rare cards, then, and also enjoy this content. Subscribe! Fuck! Just... Signing off.